Good morning and welcome to Quest Television and Quest 93.1 FM. It is the 14th day in the month of July in the year 2023. A lovely Friday morning here in the studios. And well, another Friday for us to look at the headlines making it to the front pages of all the dailies. My name is Ulrika Bimaram and welcome to the paper review on Quest Today. We're going to return back to the series this morning of five newspapers. We have um, The Guardian, The Punch, The Daily Trust, The Daily Sun, as well as The Vanguard newspaper. And like I said, it is a Friday. It is a full house. Uh, with me this morning in the studio is my colleague, the person of Michael Gobadia, and our unordained bishop and <laughs> admirable quest analyst, the person of Comrade Ife Odomo. Good morning, gentlemen. Well, anyway, it's a good morning, and I and I, I made that very big promise today not to, you know, uh, be on the neck of uh, Comedy for a moment, for a reason. Yeah, it's not on my neck, and I put it on my lap. It's even more dangerous on my lap. Well, my he neck. has started. Uh, I made yeah. no such promises. Okay, okay. But with that being said, let's head straight into the papers. And the first paper for review will be the Daily Sun. Another Daily Sun newspaper. The major oh. headline reads: As federal government unveils subsidy removal incentives, NAS to get seventy billion naira. And poor families, 8,000 naira from 500 billion naira palliative. Mm -hmm. The writer there says that 5 billion naira earmarks for judiciary and its continuation of APC scam, says Artiku. Quite an interesting headline. Mm -hmm. I had to start with that one. Right, right. It's really <laughs> sunny there. Oh, yes. But more or less, you can get on page six of the Daily Sun. Away from that, and right beside the masthead, we have alleged courts, uh, rather alleged rights violation, uh, violation. As it says, again, court dismisses Kanye's suit against DSS. They say declines request to wear Ishiagu attire in custody. Uh, more on that you can get on page four. Moving away from that, we have NYC certified Umba certificate. INEC witness tells tribunal. You can read all of that on page eight. Also, Department of State Services charges ex CBN governor immediately to court. It's making around on all the dates as well. Mm -hmm. I do want to read that story on page four of the case. <coughs> Federal government to establish modern ranches in collaboration with states as president declares state of emergency on food security. It's making it to page eight. But on page 28, we have Tinubu and Belo Hill Shoyinka at 89, mm -hmm. described Nobel laureate as an inspiration. Uh, like I said, do want to continue that story on page 28. Gunmen on rampage in Delta, they kill officer and chase others into swamp. It's making it to page four. And Senate grills and confirmed service chiefs. And that one you can get on page six of the Daily Sun. I'll rescue Nigeria from vested interest, says Tinubu. And you can read all of that on page 26. And also, we are dying, says Plateau IDPs, as they cry out. More on that you can get on page 19. And well, for the picture of the day, we can see Bola, President Bola Metunubu and his chief of staff, Femi Bajabiamila, with the All Progressive Congress women leaders in Tetsi State and Abuja, led by the national woman leader, Bessa Edu, in Abuja. This picture was taken yesterday. And that's much better on the front page of the Daily Sun. Okay, the next paper for us to quickly look at will be the Punch newspaper. And on the Punch newspaper this morning, um, the major headline reads uh, Tunubu declares state of emergency. Plans 500,000 hectares of farmland. And we're talking about the issue of food uh, shortage. And the uh, president orders year round farming, releases fertilizer grains to farmers, uh, household, and uh, security agents deployed to farm. As federal government plans, transport, and concessionary loans uh, for farmers. But I'll plead with you to continue that story on page two. Uh, let's see if we take orders. Uh, <coughs> um, service chiefs get uh, Senate nod, a vow to tackle insecurity. Uh, that's the major story on page uh, 14 of uh, The Punch. Danko Day Cement plans new plants in Nigeria, Ghana, and others. It's another major story on page 25. And on page 14, National Assembly approves 819 billion subsidy palliative projects. And uh, you can just really get that story on page 14 of um, The Punch. <coughs> uh, 13 Chinese nabbed for illegal mining in Quara. It's another major story on page 15. Mm -hmm. And um, Apostle Suleiman meant to be killed uh, during attack, uh, says the suspect. And uh, you can also get that story on page four and five of um, the Punch newspaper. Uh, EU reports or uh, opposition demands INEC chairs a persecution, APC fumes. And uh, you can get that story on page seven. And uh, the picture of the day is that of no other but Mark Zuckerberg and uh, training with um, the, uh, uh, the New Zealand and Nigerian mixed martial arts is 
uh, Israel additional in preparation for the planned cage fight with uh, Elon Marx um, <laughs> later. Uh, that's the much you can take from the punch newspaper. Okay, <coughs> well, that's quite <coughs> an interesting picture of the day there. But the next paper for review is The Guardian. And on The Guardian, the major headline is talking about good governance. Uh, but the question is, is it indeed good governance? As the headline reads, despite huge revenue, Lagos local councils underperform and worsen residents' pains. Uh, to really show that pains, you can see the pictures. There are various pictures of bad roads, um, civil unrest, all of that. But do want to continue the story on page 4 and page 5 of The Guardian. Moving away from that, we have DSS charges in Miefele to court after George issued one week one week ultimatum. Uh, read that story on page three. 346 persons killed and 18,751 displaced in Plateau. It's making it to page 29 of the Guardian as well. Police nab father for selling three children for 1.5 million wow. in rivers. Yeah, wow, story. Quite um, I, I do I have no words, but do what to read that story on page eight. Moving on, we have Labour Party and INEC do over call for dismissal and prosecution of Yakubu. Oh. Do want to get more on that on page three. Labour and Atiku slam NAS speedy approval of Tinubu's $800 million loan oh. and $500 billion Naira palliative. More on that story you can get on page six. And also Nakon allays harsh concerns as NCAA suspends Air Max Air Boeing 737 aircraft. Oh. Uh, more on that story you can get on page seven. But well, that's what you can take on the front page of The Guardian. Um, the Vanguard will be the next paper for us to quickly look at. And on The Vanguard this morning, Opera, uh, Senate okay is fresh $800 million award bank borrowing. And as uh, federal government plans 8,000 monthly palliative for 12 uh, poor households. And uh, NLC TUC kick, expert stakeholders lampoon palliative plans suggest alternative views. But continue that story on page five of The Vanguard. And um, let's see if we take others. Uh, 2023 polls, uh, 300 billion donor funds, uh, SAC persecutes INEC boss, a uh, Labour PDP saying on page three. And uh, Tunubu, uh, Tunubu declares state of emergency on food security. And uh, that story you can get on page 27. Uh, court stops Kano government from demolition of houses. It's a major one on page 12. And uh, detention, court gave DSS seven days to try or release uh, MFL. Um, We've charged, we'll, we'll charged him to court, says DSS on page 9. And uh, NCAA suspend Max Air B737 operations over safety concern is a major one on page 9. An appointment Senate confirmed CDS service chiefs. And that story you can also get on page 9. Everton battling to keep Wobi is another major story on uh, page 31. But the picture of the day. Is more of uh, President Bola Ahmed Tunubu and uh, um, Chief of Staff uh, to the President all yesterday, Bajabi Amila yesterday um, in Abuja. Okay, well, thank you very much for that. Well, the next paper for review is the Daily Trust. And on the Daily Trust newspaper this morning, the major headline reads uh, Senators and reps get 70 billion naira to enhance working conditions. Uh, the writer there says it's it is height of insensitivity, uh, uh, insensitivity, and this is a statement coming from the CSOs. And also, fund is for National Assembly, not us, says lawmakers. And also, article kicks a senator approves Tinubu's eight hundred million dollars loan. Uh, more on this story you can get on page four of the Daily Trust. Moving above the leading story, we have a um, plateau crisis. It says tight security as COP members arrive new NYC orientation camp. Uh, more on that you can get on page twenty-three. Labour Party and INEC bicker over call for Yakubu's suspension and prosecution. More on that you can get on page 10. But on page 6 of the Daily Trust, it says NCAA grounds Max S B737 planes and probes adulterated fuel. Uh, more on that you can get on page 6. Tunubu declares state of emergency on food security is making it to page 9 of the Daily Trust as well. And Kano to organize wedding for 1,000. Uh, 120 couples. I don't know who else is getting married. <laughs> Comrade, in case you have, <laughs> in case, <laughs> in case you have siblings or children who want to marry, this is opportunity. But more that you can get on page 16. Kebi government distributes 2.3 billion naira fertilizers to farmers. It's making it to page six. And demand for made in Nigerian slippers, beverages, and noodles 
soa in west africa uh, more on that you can get on page 20 and well, this is that's a good one for yeah. people who like mm -hmm. to do international business but moving away from that we have the picture of the day we have the picture of fabio and that of a bus well more on that you can get uh, more to that story you can get on page six and well that's much you can take on the front page of all the dailies i mentioned earlier which is the guardian the daily trust the daily sun the punch as well as the vanguard newspaper this is the point where you call into the show to have your say and with that being said the numbers are on your screen but for those on radio the numbers remain 080 and 831 do not forget to stick to the headlines i mentioned uh, well, from the dailies i mentioned earlier hello good morning Hello, good morning. Good morning, ma. Good morning. This is Henry Guaya from Bosaga. Yes, Mr. Henry, please have your say. Federal government will cease to establish modern ranches. Now, this is a very good uh, point there. At least uh, if you stop, at least uh, it says that uh, farmers and uh, that's a clash. You will that uh, should be well done. Then again, in your reports, the position demand my next year prescription, APC fumes. Now, the truth is that the uh, APC must know that uh, the last election was not really fair and fair. And so, that, because they, thank God that's why they are in court. And let's see how the court resolve this issue. The truth is that uh, the idea of protesting in the EU uh, office in Abuja does not really make sense. Let the court decide this, and the court should be, uh, should be sure that everything is well done. Then okay. again, Opera has seen its okay's $800 million loan for first. Subsidy remover, palliatives. Now, nah, yes, it's a very good point. No people are saying that this thing ought to be done to, I mean, to have first government and all that. But the federal government will have that this uh, loans of palliative for the commoners should be well used, not that they be given to politicians or that. So that at the end, it, it should be really, it should really uh, I mean, let the effect because I see no reason why I went at the end of the year, where I took that all the area back to the people. All right, that money cannot really, yeah, 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 yeah. Henry, let's give room for more colors. Yeah, yeah, to the yeah, show. Let's see how we can give room for all that. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, welcome to the show. Your name, the location, yeah. please. Okay, my name is Matthew from Owase. Okay. Uh, please, uh, I want I want to support the president for declaring state of the uh, emergency of food. You know, the truth is that the best thing for the federal government to do now is to open the border. That was what Mr. Lamar did, I think, 1976 or so. Mm -hmm. Let food flow everywhere. When the people have something to, to eat, forget about whether we are producing enough or not. Mm -hmm. When that one is gone, fertilizer to be given to our farmers, maybe at 50% uh, uh, or something or so, less price or so. Then when that is done, we'll discover that Nigerians will be happy. Food, number one. So let the federal government think of that. Thank you, and God bless. Well, at this point, let's move over to Comrade. Mm, yeah. uh, comrade, well, let's start with the, the major headline that I actually started with. It's quite an interesting one. It says, uh, on the Daily Sun, as federal government reviews subsidy removal incentives, now to get 70 billion naira, while poor families to get 8,000 naira from the 500 billion uh, naira palliative. What's your take to this? Ah, what did the Bible say on this issue? If we are have to, we have to be biblical, because according to my name, the other day, Bishop, the richer continue to be richer, while the poorer will continue to be poor. Eight thousand naira. Eight thousand naira. I don't think that one can even make a pot of soup for a family of <coughs> mm. And you are telling them that you have uh, already gay. You are trying to bail them out of poverty level. Mm. Rather, you are pushing them but down. But now seems to be getting seventy billion naira, yeah, and yeah, thirty-five right. billion naira has that, been earmarked really for the judiciary. That's what I'm saying. You are pushing some people down before the, 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 the poverty line. Why you are lifting those who are already lifted? Don't forget, out of the seventy billion that is being earmarked for the National Assembly, most of them are also entitled to five point six billion pension allowances from their various states, and they are still getting all the lucrative contracts and salaries from the, the National Assembly. So at the end of the day, they cause everybody to be disgruntled. And uh, they will not say the masses are disgruntled. They are not disgruntled. It is these leaders that are causing this level of hegemony in the society. Well, see, adding to this matter on the front page of the Guardian, it says Labour and Atiku slam Nats over speedy um, approval of Tinubu's $800 million loan and $500 billion palliative. If they do that, I will never blame them because all the ones that we borrowed from the last eight, eight years of the limited past administration, they've not told us how those debts will be settled. Mm. Now you've, not, you've come into office two months and you are borrowing more and more again. $500 million is on one side, $800 million is on the other side. At the end of the day, you accumulate and you the future of the of Nigeria, even the ones unborn, have been sold into slavery. Mm. I will not be surprised that one day you, Miriam, 
We'll be going on the street. Somebody in a white scale will tap you at the back and say, I've bought you over because I've bought your country. No, you know that's not possible, mm -hmm. though. No, 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 there's something that is impossible in this. Uh, let's go to the vanguard and um, uh, look at this one on uh, page eight. Um, court, uh, detention court gives uh, DSS seven days to try and release the Netherlands. What's your reaction? Then? Definitely, if you, are, if you are arrested, the law provides for 24 hours detention before the, before, before the arraignment. But this issue is a different one. But uh, it has been investigated, all the investigation concluded. So if they are giving them a, a time limit to charge him to court, if they are not charging him to court, then let them release him. Nobody is guilty on this, found guilty by the, by the law court. Mm -hmm. So for now, he's it, still innocent. And if you feel that the man is not innocent, take him to court and let the court pronounce a judgment or rulings. Then I will know, we, he will now tell the country whether I am guilty or not. But nobody reserves that monopoly unless the court. <coughs> Okay, well, let's take one or two more calls before we round up the segment. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Your name, your location, Hello? please. Hello. Hello. Can you? Yeah, hear we, we can hear you. Your name and where you calling from? Okay, we we need to really uh, yes. work on that. Yeah, we seem to have seem to have lost that call, but do not forget you could drop your messages on our social media platforms. Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Quest Live Online. Be sure we'll see your messages and, you know, most likely reply you. But, like I said, let's take more reactions. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Your name is... Yeah, this is Chief Doko. Calling from where? Yes. Uh, Chief Doko, where are you calling us from? I can get a million, eight billion, being a proof and... Uh, Eight hundred billion be approved. Eight hundred billion dollar be approved and five hundred billion for palliative. Yes. You, the, the truth is that what this government is doing, I've not seen any changes between Buhari government and this government. The only change is that the services were changed and uh, a <laughs> different man, Tinubu, uh, is there. Buhari left. That is the only difference I'm saying. All the all everything is doing. Look at the rate of borrowing now. Is it continuing changing? Look at the uh, people they are arresting and they uh, are trying to persecute. It's the same thing. So I don't see this is why there's no shortage of government. Mm. Even the subsidy. This have already started too. So where are we going? If you are planning to bring caution to, to, to elevate suffering of a uh, uh, subsidy, is it by sharing money to give people? We don't solve the problem. Mm. Give eight thousand naira to the poor every month. And how do in Nigeria do we have do we really know the poor? The, the poor have uh, they don't have access to the poor. How can they come account for that money? Mm. This is what the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs did the in Buhari government that during uh, uh, COVID nineteen he said he's giving money to students. I mean giving food to students, feeding students. During nineteen when they are in their parents' home. So this government want to start they want to continue that way. Mm. Please the court should speed him up and give us the mandate we voted for. That's my opinion. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Well, Comrade, you yeah. didn't hear what he said. Do you have any yeah. reaction to that? Yes, definitely. How do you actually, do we have the statistics? Does the Federal Office of Statistics, FOS, have the data where they have the, the list of the poor? It's not existing anywhere. So if they don't have this list, per se, how do they intend sharing that it? Is the, that is the shady area that people are not complaining about. Or like when the, the last minister of FNA, I think Zena, in a body when he said uh, they, they were giving money to the vulnerable and more vulnerable are in the north. So when when you say you want to give money to the poor, how do you compile the list of the poor people? Hmm. Who are they? Who are the poor people like the man just right? They said the only way to have done that is to go through the DVM. And how many of us even this is a, a banking? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I don't Let me use another English to qualify. How many of us this is a bank? Uh, have bank accounts, especially most these market women. Okay. Where are they going to get their own uh, statistics from? Well, comrade, you have indeed said a lot. We'll have to log out the session to allow the next come in. But I can't do that without thanking you for being on air today. You've been with, with us since the beginning yeah. of the week. Yeah. And well, I'm also aware that the time will come that you have me to start up from this place because we have logged out. <laughs> the, the night wake up for person, person, not the fear person. No. Okay. Well, thank you very much, our dear viewers and listeners, for making the paper review on Quest today, your morning tea. But stay close because the big story is coming up next. Have a lovely Friday.